What's up guys, how y'all doing? It's your boy Justin McCoy, back again with another video today. Um, I know it's not a Sunday, my bad, I'm a little late. There was some, again, like I said, life happens, there's some stuff going on, so couldn't post on Sunday. I'm a little late again, but I'm going to try to get back on track. I'm going to try to get back on these Sundays. Um, if not, it's going to be early week, like a Monday, Tuesday, latest Wednesday. So, again, I apologize. I'm trying to make it consistent. Bear with me as I try to do this. Today, I would like to talk about making goals. I feel like, you know, it's January, it's close enough to New Year's, you know, I know it's a little past, you know, it's like January 17th or whatever, 18th, but, um, you know, this is kind of around the time where we make goals for the year or even goals for just, you know, changing habits or whatever, just goals in general. What I find is that often, you know, we kind of try to make these goals, but we often either don't achieve them or even if we do achieve them and kind of, you know, change the habit in the short term, we end up going back to our old habits and, um, you know, not having that long lasting change. And, you know, we end up uh, just calling it a day, you know, not even trying anymore. We're like, hey, I better luck next year or better luck next month, you know, just kind of pushing it off till later and not trying to make that change now. In my opinion, these resolutions or goals or whatever you make, um, they tend to fail because they are structured incorrectly. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to use the mnemonic acronym SMART to make long-lasting changes in our lives. Before we get too far in this video, if you guys like my content or the videos that I make, or even if you're just trying to learn more about nutrition and fitness, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on those bell notifications so that you're notified when I put out a new video. All right, let's get back to it. As I said, today we're gonna to be using that mnemonic acronym SMART. So each letter in SMART stands for um, a certain characteristic of a long-lasting goal. These letters stand for a goal that is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based. And that spells out, spells out your SMART. So throughout the video, I'm going to be using the example of my goal from my last video, which is basically just body recomposition. And of course, we'll go over it again as we go through the video. Now let's explore what each letter means in in more depth. So again, we're going to start with our first letter here with S. Again, that stood for specific. And what this basically means is that you don't want to be too vague in your goal. So if you have a goal to lose weight, you don't just want to say, I want to lose a few pounds or I want to lose some weight. Because when you actually get down to it, a few pounds to you could be three pounds, but you really wanted, you know, five pounds or six pounds or even 10 pounds, you know, like that, that few is just too vague for you to have a, a, a goal based off of it. So for me, my goal is to get down to 205. Um, so that's a specific number and also 15% body fat. So again, using those specific numbers, starting with my um, current weight, which is about 215, again, 17% body fat with a goal of 205, 15% body fat. Next, we have measurable, which basically just means that you need a way to track this, need to track this progress. So um, again, using like weight loss, you can use a scale, you can use a measuring tape, you know, kind of looking at body size or in, in like inches or centimeters. Um, one thing or one kind of other, you know, less number based measure that I like to use is also how my clothes fit. So when you lose weight, of course, your clothes fit a little looser, they feel less snug, and so of course, that's technically measurable. So again, for me, I'm using the Bod Pod scanner to measure all my progress. So I went to the Bod Pod test, I was 215, 17% body fat. I'll use it again after, you know, after the time that I allotted for this goal. Next is achievable. This is basically just trying to uh, address how reasonable the goal is. So again, my goal is 205, I'm 215. Of course, you're hearing this a lot, but my goal is 205, um, I am 215. If my goal was 180, that's a little less reasonable than just losing 10 pounds in the time that I allotted. Um, honestly, I don't think that at my frame and my uh, you know body fat percentage, going down to 180 would be very safe or, again, achievable. So you wanna make sure that your goals are achievable. So you wouldn't say, oh, I weighed 200 pounds, but back in high school, I weighed 120. So my goal is 120 pounds. That's 
not very achievable, nor is it very reasonable for, you know, weight loss. So that's one thing that you want to pay attention to. So with relevant, it's often misunderstood and misused. So what you want to kind of look at is what do you want to feel or what do you not want to feel? So do you want to feel more healthy? Do you want to feel less out of shape? Do you want to stop feeling um, out of breath as you walk up the stairs? You know, kind of getting to that deep-rooted feeling of why you want this goal to be your goal, you know, what this goal is going to do for you. If it isn't relevant to your um, feeling, then you may need to tweak it a little bit so that it is relevant to your um, what you want to feel. So again, for me, I want to feel more conditioned. I want to be able to run that, run my race, um, you know, without feeling like I'm gonna die every step of the way. I want to feel a little more conditioned, a little less out of breath as I do more cardio exercises. Lastly, we have time-based, and this again is the easiest one. It's just putting a time frame on your goal. This time frame actually helps push you and keep you kind of on track. Because if you just say, again, I want to lose 30 pounds. Okay, when do you want to lose 30 pounds by? A year, two years, three years? Because if we're talking three years, I mean, you're just losing 10 pounds a year. You know, that's, that's reasonable, like you can do that, but you aren't really pushing yourself to do much. You know, it's just kind of a goal and you kind of forget about it, honestly. Putting that time frame really helps encourage you to move forward. Um, so for me, again, I had that time frame of about five months, coming from November to April. That's when my race is. And then I have the other um, goal of a year um, from November to November. So that time frame is gonna keep me, um, like keep me honest and just kind of keep me pushing to reach those goals by that time. So yeah, that is how to make a SMART goal. Again, going over it, we have making a goal that is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based. So that's the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, and again, want to see more content just like this, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that you're notified when I post a new one. And again, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And keep shining.